talk about a task management tool called Remember the Milk. You can go to rememberthemilk.com and sign up for an account. There are free accounts and paid accounts. Obviously, the paid account has a couple more features, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Well, it's a task management tool where you can build to-do lists. So creating a to-do is very simple. You just click Add a Task. Write the name of your task. I'll just say Enter, and it's done. So it's going to move down to the bottom of my task list. Now, when I've done that task and completed it, I can just check the checkbox here and go up here and say Complete, and it will disappear off my task list. Let's take a look at some of the other things you can do with Remember the Milk. Remember the Milk connects to several different services. If you go down here to the bottom, you'll see it connects with Google Calendar, uh, Twitter, BlackBerry, Gmail, a uh, number of other services. You can use locations. So if, you, if your tasks are go to the supermarket, you can put that on the map. You can share it. So if you have other contacts who you're friends with, you could share it with them, send it to emails. You can make it public so that everybody can see it. If you're working in a group, you can publish the task list and everybody has different tasks and you could share them with each other. Uh, if I go over here to Google Calendar, I'll show you one of the nice integrations with Google Calendar. So you see all these little blue check boxes? These are adding your task list onto the calendar. So if I click on one, it will show my tasks for that date. If I click on another date, it will show the tasks for that date. Another nice thing I have, if I go to Google Reader, I'm using a Grease Monkey script, and if you notice, the little Remember the Milk cow is there. So let's say I'm reading a particular article in Google Reader, and I think that I want to bookmark it. I can just go to click on the little Remember the Milk cow, and the little pop-up window opens. It gives the task name, which is the link then where it's going to, your inbox, you could send it to one of your other places when it's due, so I could say it's due. I could see if it want, if it repeats, I could say, you know, put a time estimate on it, tags, location, so if I had a home, I could say it's going to be at home, the URL, and say add task. So I'll just close that. Now if I go back to Remember the Milk, hit Refresh, go down to the bottom of my list, you'll see there's the article that I just bookmarked. So a couple other things that you can do if you look at the services. So like I said, there's an iPhone app, that's for uh, pro users. You can have it in your Gmail, you can have it go to your BlackBerry if you're a BlackBerry user or if you use Windows Mobile, again those are both for Pro. You can use Google Gears to have your tasks available offline. You can Twitter reminders to yourself, so if you Twitter, say, uh, remember to call your parents tonight, it would go onto your task list. As you just saw, it goes in your Google Calendar. It'll go on iGoogle if you use that, NetVibes. There's a mobile version. If you're using an iPhone or another phone with a good browser, you can just go to rememberthemilk.com, and the mobile website is really good, very handy. You can embed your locations for tasks. There's a widget that'll go on your desktop if you're using a Mac. There's a sidebar module. If you use Jot, you can send to-dos to it. If you use Dial To Do, you can send tasks from that service. So there's just tons and tons of services that work with it. Really handy tool, just a very simple, elegant task management system. So if you're looking for a quick way to keep track of things that you have to get done, try Remember the Milk.